science. The Gulf Stream is a powerful surface current and a vital component of the largest heat transfer on Earth, the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC. The AMOC acts as a global conveyor belt, moving warm surface water north and cold deep water south, helping to regulate our global climate. That the rapid melting of the Greenland ice sheet should lead to this circulation's disruption or even collapse. Politics. Premier Scott Moe is standing by comments he made recently in which he said, I don't care, when referencing Saskatchewan's per capita greenhouse gas emissions. Science. A scenario with almost unimaginable consequences. If the AMOC tips, the climate suddenly gets incredibly greater seasonality, cold, harsh winters and even hotter summers. But I'd be most concerned in the tropics because we would potentially lose the monsoon in West Africa, which would be a humanitarian catastrophe, and also disrupt the monsoon in India severely, which is the livelihoods of over a, a billion people. Politics. The Saskatchewan Association of Rural Municipalities says, policies that vilify CO2 are illogical and unpredictable. We move that Saskatchewan remove itself from any national or international agreements that reference net zero. Science. The increased horizontal temperature gradient will drive superstorms stronger than any in modern times. All hell will break loose in the North Atlantic and neighboring lands. Politics. Removing the designation of CO2 as a pollutant and recognizing that carbon dioxide is the foundational nutrient of all life on Earth. Science. And if you shut that down, uh, that advantage will go. It will get a lot colder in especially Great Britain, Scandinavia, of course, Iceland. But there are other consequences of worldwide um, uh, impact. Uh, one of them is a shifting of the tropical rainfall belts. They are where the Earth is warmest, which is now north of the equator because of the northern hemisphere being warmer than the southern hemisphere by one to two degrees Celsius. Because of that cross-equatorial heat transport by the AMOC, if you shut that down, Tropical rainfall belts move south. Politics. The resolution also went on to advocate for even more CO2. Science. So we know it's unstable. We know then the tropical rainfall belts shift. That means for tropical countries, the, you know, the rainfall is not where people are used to it, where the tropical rainforests are. Uh, there it will be missed. And in other regions which are not used to these extremely high precipitation amounts, uh, there will be flooding. Politics. Members of Alberta's ruling United Conservative Party have voted overwhelmingly to abandon the province's emissions reduction targets and recognize carbon dioxide as a foundational nutrient for all life on Earth. Science. There is also the effect on sea level. Sea level will rise by about an additional uh, 50 centimeters or so around the North Atlantic, including the American Atlantic coast if you shut down the AMOC. So that's additional rise to the global mean rise. Politics. During his push for the White House, Trump has called climate change a hoax and one of the great scams of all time. While vowing to delete spending on clean energy, abolish insane incentives for Americans to drive electric cars, scrap various environmental rules, and unleash a drill baby, drill wave of new oil and gas. Science. There are also, there's the effect of less CO2 uptake by the ocean because we the water sinking down to a couple of thousand meter steps takes CO2 down. If that stops, that will not happen anymore. So atmospheric CO2 rises faster. And finally, disruption of marine biology in the whole North Atlantic, Northern Atlantic region, inclusive uh, the fisheries. Politics. Science. Politics. Science. If you believe that climate change is real and an existential threat to our country and the world, you got to vote for Kamala because Trump thinks it is a hoax. And by the way, this is an issue that has not been talked enough about in this campaign. If Trump wins, the struggle, the global struggle against climate change is over. Because if the largest economy in the world, the United States, pulls back, so will China, so will Europe, and God only knows the kind of world that our kids and grandchildren will be living in because of climate change.